All right, Dennis, um, got your order here. Appreciate the order. I think you, I recognize your name. I think you've got some stuff for me before. This is yours right here. Unless I find that something's wrong with it, which is very unlikely, but again, you know, I'll check them and make sure. So I'm going to put a battery in this. I'm going to take the the wire off inside. I'm going to put a short screw in this. That way you're all covered. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, if any of you guys that watch my YouTube here, if you are Romeo Golf uh, CB Club members, I guess they're having a contest this weekend, and they asked me if I would be willing to help donate anything, so I said, yeah, no problem, and I donated one of these. So this is one of the prizes, I guess, that you can win on that contest that they're doing. Um, I was hoping that they would have somehow advertised for me a little bit, but I hadn't seen anything online on Facebook or anything, so I'll just take it upon myself to just kind of advertise for them that they do have a group on Facebook and I'm Romeo Golf 269 although I haven't been out there a whole lot lately and I won't be able to participate in the contest because I work Saturdays and just there's too much else going on for me to dedicate a day just to radio It'd be fun but I just can't do it so this is one of the prizes I think there's other prizes too that they're they're offering but I will to whoever wins it, and I don't know how they're going to work that out, but they'll have to contact me. Um, it'll be set up just like this one, so, you know, there's no charge or anything. I'm just doing that because it's something I, I wanted to do, you know, for the hobby. Alright, so your mic's all set up, so you'll notice that we're plugged into 4-pin, and you don't have a RX, and that's what's needed for these radios, so any mic that you would use... Um, if you don't have one of these testers, that's fine, but just make sure that there's no wire uh, terminated to either the mic plug at number four, or if the mic, you can do it internally, just disable it. I think someone sells a mic adapter that looks like one of these. Obviously, it's not this one because it's for six pin, but I think someone does sell one. Uh, I don't really want to advertise for somebody else, but I have seen one that's set up for these type of radios that they have some type of blocking uh, component in the plug so you may you may find one of those too online and then you can use other mics on it um, but this mic is all set for you so as far as that goes you'll never have to worry about any issues with the mic uh, not matching with the radio or worrying about voltages being uh, sent out of the plug and then hitting the mic and you know there's there can be confl conflictions there that can cause problems although i've never seen it happen i'm assuming because people have talked about it from way back when with these that something could potentially happen all right so again like most of the radios that i sell they come with cables um pc cable yeah right here so that's your PC programming cable so there's no extra charge for that um, all, always included with these unless you frankly just don't want it then I'll just keep it but I'm not I'm not going to discount it because it's just a package price so um, I really don't like to sell these cables because I feel like as a seller it you should just offer the cable with any programmable radio. Now I know on some radios they don't come with them so but usually with radios I order to sell I always order it with a cable. It just makes sense. Alright so we're moving along with your radio here Dennis. Uh, this one might not be as long as some. I uh, gotta kinda get some things moving here. I got UPS coming soon and I want to get yours off today as well and I got a couple other things I need to get ready to send so let's get into the uh, alignment option real quick here like that and we're just going to check the frequency and see where it's at I think we'll be safe to try it here because I think that's the default frequency yeah, so we're right on the money there 2.5 or geez, 2720507. So that's good. I'm happy with that. It's right where it should be. So. Oh, 
apologize for that. It's kind of annoying. Got to kind of listen to that while we adjust our FM power, unfortunately. So uh, we want about 40 out of this guy, which we can usually easily get. So. Good. Okay, about, about one. So we need a little bit less here. Okay, a little bit less won't hurt. Okay, I'll be right back to show you the deviation. All right, so they usually are all are about 2.8, so I can. Mix that up and make it just a touch stronger for you, about 4, 4.1. I'm not for certain, but I believe when they do another production of these, I'm hoping anyways, and I'm not for certain, but... Um, the guys that have that HS4 would know better that one has the more updated firmware this one can take it but there's some hardware changes that won't allow certain things to work I've already tried it so believe me when I say that if I could have made it work I would have but you know the hardware changes are not something I want to do here nor does the factory really want me doing it so I'm not gonna do it um, and it would be very difficult, I think, too. So, it's still a really nice radio. And for the price, you're getting the mic and the alignment. And it's a really, really good price. So, it's kind of like the special I wanted to run uh, for a while on these. So... I may actually, I don't, I've never ran one of these in my car, I don't think. I ran a lot of different radios. There's your 8 on AM. I was thinking maybe this could, I don't know. There's so many different radios that I'd like to put in my car that I just don't know. Right now, I, I need to get the Quad 6 Pro in my car out because that one I'm sending out. I worked a deal out with somebody on it, so that one's going to the new home and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to have a radio in my car tomorrow, but that's okay. One day without a radio ain't going to kill me. Not that I do a lot of talking in the car anyways, but you know, it's one of those things where you just get used to having it and then you reach down and want to use it and it's not there. You're like, oh God. So... All right, here's AM mod. So again, they're usually quite low when you lower that carrier down to one watt. So you can really, you can really get these guys talking. So that's good there. That. And that's just like textbook perfect. That's why I like these so much. They just look awesome. So, and it's a dual final, so a little less power, but it's okay. It does good enough for what it is, you know. Sometimes that higher power stuff can be more trouble than it's worth in some situations. Not always, but... All right, hang on one second here. I kept plugging the, your mic in. I'm wondering why I'm not seeing a tone when I turn on the generator, so... That's why. Wrong cord. All right, so we're at eighty-seven percent. Let me reach over here. This is 
what it looks like now. It's not bad. I mean, I would I would probably run it like that personally. I wouldn't really care too much, but I know that a little bit more doesn't hurt. Of course, I don't really talk much AM unless I'm talking to the locals. Because we have pretty much just an AM crowd here, which is fine. You know, I like AM. But, um... Well, that's just like... One of the best looking radios. These are just perfect. So... Okay... I remember when I first got my first CB, it was all AM. I didn't even know what sideband was, you know. I, I literally didn't because I'd never seen one. And I remember the first sideband radio I ever got was a Unit N Grand XL. And I hadn't had it very long. I knew that there was something going on because there must have been like some skip going on back then or something. Because I could hear, you know, on the upper channels... You know, the 30s, at least, that, you know, that weird sound. When you don't know what it is, you're just like, well, what the heck is that? Let me span this out. Um, so I knew there was something something going on there. I just couldn't put my eye on it because I didn't have a radio that could decode what was going on. So this is what it looks like from the factory. It's not bad. I feel like they've done a lot better job with these versus what they used to. So anyways, when I got that Grand XL, I started, I, I started, uh, you know, figuring out, hey, what is this sideband stuff all about? This is kind of cool. And then somebody along the way brought over a HR2510, and that kind of caught my eye because I really liked the digital looking radio. And this is back in the 90s, so... It's at like 22 right now, so we'll see if we can't get her up to like 24. I think that's about as good as they go. This one's about 23. So I thought, wow, that's a pretty cool looking radio. And, um... It's about the sweet spot right there, I think. So... Needless to say, when I got that, it kind of put me in full-on sideband mode. And I used to still like like to talk AM, too, you know. But it was like, at that time, it was like more like talking to the locals on AM. And then when the skip was going, just hightailing off of AM and going right to, um, going right to uh, sideband. And just kind of... That's how it looks now, so a little better, I think, but it's still really good the way it came, so, um, you know, I used to take off on the locals and stuff and just go hang out on sideband and just talk all kinds of, and this was, again, back in the 90s with just a simple antenna, an Antron 99, up on the roof of my parents' house, so it wasn't... Like I had a big set of beams or anything like that and, and all that stuff. I just had a basic setup, but it worked really good. Big, tall, two-story house. So I was probably up about a good 45, 50 feet to the bottom of that antenna. I was kind of mad because the guy that put it up there, I was at school, and my mom paid somebody to come. He was a ham radio operator. He came and put it up on the roof for us. He, he ran an antenna service. Uh, one, two, three, here's your sideband power. One, two, three, four, five, check, 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 hello. One, two, three, four, five, check, one, two, check, one, two, three, check, one, two, one, two, three. So about 40 watts or so. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is uh, lower side right here. One, two, three, four, check, 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 hello, one, two. So it's nice and clean. Um, so yeah, he ran an antenna service. One, two, three, one, two, three, check, 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 hello. One, two, one, two, one, two, check, 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 hello. So when I got home from school, he was about wrapping it up. And I was so excited, you know, I got home. My mom's like, hey, he wants to talk to you, <laughs> the guy. 
I didn't know at the time what he wanted. So I said, yeah, you know, he's like, Hey, is that your, that's your radio stuff up there in, in, in the room? I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, you better be careful running that stuff. Uh, and I said, why? He goes, well, that stuff's not really, you're not supposed to run. And I know what that stuff is. And I'm a extra class ham radio operator. I still like CB, so I'm not telling you not to run it and stuff, but just be careful because it looks like, you know, you, you're capable of putting out some pretty good power and stuff. And I said, okay well thanks you know i didn't take it as he was being a dickhead or anything it was just like what it was um and again you know here's am so these are kind of like a lot of modulation on am so one two three four five check 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 hello one two one two one two check 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 but still it's not going up into the zero dbm or higher on the next channel which is the exact right and left of the screen so he just kind of wanted to let me know that what I had there potentially could get me in trouble a little bit. And back then, they were sending letters. So, you know, but I never got a letter or anything. I had a lot of people call the house and complain because I used to give out the phone number to the house to my friends. Be like, hey, give me a call, you know, right over the air. And people would call and say, you know, my mom would answer and she'd be hollering at me. Somebody from down the road said that your CB or something is coming through their, their TV or their whatever. And, you know, there was a couple of times where they took it away, you know, the amplifier away and stuff and, and all that. So I just bought another one. I had a newspaper route. So, you know, they couldn't. There were so many amps to be had back then locally. This is low power AM, by the way. So there's that. Sorry about my little story here, but just trying to pass the time, I guess. Um, make it a little more interesting, just the same old, same old. I'm going to check your receive really quick, and then that's going to be it.